Donald and Douglas are two of my favorite characters from Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. What makes them stand out so much to me is their uniqueness, being that they're from Scotland, having a lot of extremely memorable episodes like Break Van, Donald's Duck, and Escape. There are honestly two characters in the CGI series that I think are very underutilized. I really wish the writers would come up with episodes for them that don't involve them arguing with each other throughout the entire story. But with that aside, let's get on to the review. Like all the Bachman Thomas and Friends models, the Bachman Douglas comes with the agitating blister packaging, which is opened by a few cuts around the edge of the box and you can simply lift them all out. You may have noticed though, that I only got Douglas and not Donald, but since they're your exact same model bar nameplates and number, I should be able to carry on with the review with only one engine. I just want to say that I am in love with the Bachman Douglas model. I admire the crisp details, the amazing proportions, and the all around, it is a splendid model. Even though some people complain about the positioning of the nameplates, I really don't mind as it is accurate to part of the model era, and it's a very easy fix if you want to move them closer to the smoke box like in Season 2. For me at least, I'll just leave them where they are. They were like that in Season 4 beyond, so it's really... They were a part of the classic era if you think about it that way. The only thing missing from the TV series model is that the cab doesn't have handrails like the Gage 1 model did, but this is an easy fix. All the Bachman Towns models are super shiny and glossy, but I find that it's super prominent on, on this model because when I touch the Bachman Douglas, the fingerprint can be easily seen when I let go. The face is spot on too, as it does closely resemble one of the resin face masks seen in the show. All in all, it gets the detail spot on, and has practically no flaws in any way, shape, or form if you ask me. The Bachman Douglas, much like the Bachman Thomas, is a smooth runner, taking off around the loop with no issues at all. It is also much more durable in quality, being made more recently than the Thomas model, and is heavier in comparison making it a stronger model overall. Douglas has a coupling on both ends, so running trains backwards is no issue for him at all. You can reenact the escape episode with that. Douglas also has a classic moving eye feature, which every engine in the Thomas range, with the exception of the HON30 narrow gauge edges have. It's a real treat, both in looks and performance. The MSRP for the Bachman models of Donald and Douglas, as of 2019, are $125. As much as I love this model, it really is ridiculously overpriced, much like almost all the Bachman MSRPs these days. I paid $70 for my model of Douglas, and I say it's worth it, especially for the, its higher quality and excellent detail, especially when compared to some of the earlier Bachman Thomas and Friends models. Just keep in mind where you buy your models. A lot of stars will have different prices. I give the Bachman Down the Douglas models a 9.5 out of 10. This is definitely one of the best models Bachman has ever done in their talents to take engine range. So if you're looking for good models in the range, or are a big fan of Donald and Douglas, you don't want to miss out on this excellent model. As Duck was busy arranging Donald's trucks, Douglas offered to take away Gordon's coaches. Douglas was enjoying himself when an awful thought struck him. I hope the fat controller doesn't find out I shouldn't have been here. I couldn't abide going back. He worried so much over this that he forgot about Thomas's special coach. He pushed it with the others into the carriage siding.
then ambled along to join Donald at the water column. As he went, Thomas scampered by, whistling cheerfully. 